Oh, I was eight? I was number eight? Fucking great. <laughs> Are we gonna be Mar Mardu again? The only issue with drafting Dan here is that we're passing Flay Essence and Glorious Enforcer. I think both those cards are fantastic. I'm gonna draft it, but, you know. <laughs> we're we're kind of putting the people to the left of us in black white. Good news is. Um, we'll still be on the right side for pack three, so it hurts them more than it hurts us. You think Skyra's fantastic? Skyra's a fantastic card, but like, you don't always play all of them. You can only fit so many of that card in your deck. Go grab that Bone Shredder. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Strange Dies, thanks for resell these in 16 months. Much love to you too. So Bone Trader, Bone Trader is great. It's less good in this format where there's like a lot of artifact creatures than it normally would be, but it's still great. I'm still gonna draft it. That's true. I don't have to be, I don't have to be both damn colors. That's a good point. White is the better one. <laughs> White's a little bit better. I've been impressed with Ravenous Squirrel. We could grab it here and go junk. Or we could just draft World Wary. Bone Shards is a good card too. I think I think I value World Wary like a little bit above Bone Shards though. Yeah, it's Squirrel versus World Wary here for me, I think. That's a combo. Clattering Augur and Ravenous Squirrel. A few other cards that, that I really like here. The Violin Tumor, I enjoy. Crack Open, I enjoy. Yeah, I'll draft the Augur. Fuck it. It also plays well with the Dam, right? Do I want to Underworld Hermit? Yeah, Hermit, Starfish, and Draykeeper are all sweet. Even Seal of Cleansing, if I'm attempting to play Dam. Seal of Cleansing's pretty great. I like the Harvest. can indeed draft a squirrel deck in the format. Seal Yank be okay. I don't know if I want too many Abundant Harvests. The deck can get a little... Look, like there's too much air in it, you know? If you have too much cantripy shit. Oh, let's grab this. Let's grab this Trider. Totally reasonable card. Oh man, I was not drinking enough water. <laughs> oh fuck, I was so excited and I was so excited that last match. I was like on the edge of my seat. Forgot to hydrate. 
This is between Charger, Late to Dinner, and Scour. I think we'll grab Scour. I kind of like Gorger with what we're working with so far. I think Gorger fits this deck. Curator, Familiar, both great cards, but like your top end tends to fill up faster. Yeah, I think it would be Junk Colors. Beast Black, of course. I did not early puff. I did not see that conversation. Love the Starfish Wheel. It's a really fun draft format, Skip Bop a Diddly. I'm glad they brought it back, especially with like all of the Modern Horizon mythics like spiking. Hopefully people jam, jam some drafts. Help fix the prices for a bit. Let a few more people afford modern, you know? Glad you enjoyed the tunes, D&D noob. Uh, Emma Handy actually turned me on. Turned me on to this band, Anarchy Club. The fuck is it out of time? Untap all creatures, then phase them out. <laughs> this is like a just like a weird sweeper. So if you remove like five creatures, it's like a I would kinda like this card. But we already have like an actual sweeper. And it's our stuff too. Like Parallax Wave only hits the opponent's shit. And that's kinda why it's good, you know? I think we got Ravenous Squirrel here. Just like have a second squirrel. So this is between Rift Sower or Squirrel Sovereign. I don't hate the Squirrel Sovereign with, like, Hermit. We did pass that green-black Squirrel thing. There's a Tragic Fall here, too. We already have some removal. We could always use more. I think I want the Rift Sower. You like Greed? Should I be drafting that one? I might play well with the dam. Wow, Curse Totem fucks me up. I think I'm just grabbing this bridge. You're just a greedy bitch. Fair enough, fair enough. It's good to be self-aware. It's super good to be self-aware. This might be a good Altar of the Goyf deck. Like, we, right now we don't actually have a way to kill the opponent, really. <laughs> Guard. I 
I'd actually play the Shambler if it wheels. Is it Sanctify or Money? Oh, it's only like a dollar. I remember it being more than that. Maybe the maybe the draft coming back lowered it. It's kind of a fucked up card. We could just draft it anyway. Just to be a card in our deck. Alright, AG, AJWR, I see you. I kind of like the Yavamai Elder here a lot. And then Rift Sower and Jade Avenger are also great. What would I call the genre of this song? Uh, just prog. Anytime you're listening to someone just, like, fucking masturbate on stage with a guitar, you can call it prog and you're probably fine. People know what you mean. Let's grab this bridge. Better Ancestral? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Squirrel! Fairgrounds Patrol would be really good in this deck, too. I probably do need more things that are good to sack. Is this card good? Let's go with the Altar of the Goyf. too much starfish. If there is such a thing. Yes, the Shambler wheel. Fish? Yeah, fish is, um, you would call them a jam band. There's a lot of overlap between jam bands and prog. Every time, every time I draft this format, I'm like excited that I get a, a pack three. <laughs> I'm like ready to build and then there's pack three. I think I want this Goldmire Bridge. Just like continue shoring up the mana base. Vectus Gloves has actually been really good for like decks that need a way to actually win the game. It's basically plus two plus zero and unblockable in this format. Another bone shredder. Shred them bones. Brick ties would be good too. Right now we don't really have any disenchant effects. We could use some. Soul migration would also be good here. Violent tumor doesn't really do much for this deck, right? This uh, instrumental heavy, like metalish form of um, form of prog with like a lot of change up, change ups, and like sometimes they have like multiple strings on the guitars and stuff. Sometimes it's referred to as uh, degent to D J E N T, which is more specific. And some artists like call themselves degent. Some some artists get labeled with that, and then they, they don't call themselves that. They dispute that it's like an actual thing. But I think that would fit. This um, this artist is very like animals as leaders the ish. Ish. Is it a soft D? I don't know. I don't I don't know how to pronounce. That's why I spelled it out because I don't actually know how to fucking pronounce it. <laughs> hmm. Hell Mongrel is such a good card, but it's so not good in this deck.
Ooh, Foundation Breaker. I was just talking about how I didn't have any disenchants, and this is a really nice one here. Super good. A quick soft D, somewhere like Gent. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I actually really like this Disciple. It doesn't rebuy Foundation Breaker, but it rebuys these Bone Treaders. And that's pretty hot. There's also an Ornithopter Paradise here, but I don't think we need the Ornithopter. Like, I think our mana's good. Oh, this is my second Disciple. Nice. So World Weary would give me another removal spell. I think I'll, I guess I guess I'll draft the Ornithopter. Ornithopter is a little bit better here than in most decks because we can always like sack it to the Ravenous Squirrel. You like the proliferate on the Smell Fear? Yeah. So many playables. Throw this in the board maybe, or Lens Flare. Raptor's okay. It's it's filler. It wouldn't make the cut in our deck. A lot of the cards that are in our deck, we're gonna be cutting here. Like piercing raise is good, but it's gonna be a sideboard card for us, I think. I fucking love Pagan Altar. Got some D sideboard cards. I kind of wish this altar of the Goyf was the plus two plus o equipment that I that I pointed out. We might not need the altar if our squirrels get big enough. We do have some random flyers that plays well with them. We can maybe board it in if we're having trouble actually closing the game out. I think three starfish is one too many. I like that Ravenous Squirrel can let us convert our board into value and then we play the sweeper. Yay, Vectus Gloves, yeah. Ravenous Squirrel does indeed have a human hand in their, uh. <laughs> in their Heidi home. Fuck. <laughs> Cuts are getting hard. We like this Underworld Hermit, right? Yeah, I think we need it. Maybe I'm supposed to cut Rift Sower. That sounds crazy though, right? Yeah, that's crazy talk. Let's cut the Necromancer's Familiar, even though that leaves us with, like, not really very many flyers. If we face, like, flyers.deck, we can always adjust. Oh, Scour the Desert actually isn't very good in this deck, is it? Because our Cyclers have only four toughness, so this would just make four 1 1 flyers, which is still good, but.
I think the Orchard Striders are really good in this deck. I don't really want to cut them. They're beef. They come into play with two food, food tokens that you can then sack to the squirrels. You don't think greed's a card? I think if it's good anywhere, it's good here. But maybe we just like don't need it because we have the triple ravenous squirrel as like draw engines already. We could have used a few more creatures to like make tokens when they die. Like nested shambler type cards. Or clattering auger. Or like the the, the two mana two one in white. I think we passed a couple of those at various points. Green enough for Elder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably depends on the limited format by Marathon. Tempo kind of matters in this format. We do have some life gain, though. I was thinking the greed was good with the, um,. Play if you ever like play damn, then it's a way to just like draw a bunch. Get super ahead. We have so much card advantage, maybe, maybe just like not necessary. Soul Snare. I think I like the Snare. This is only creatures, right? That's permanent. Yeah, I like the Soul Stare. I'm not going to Vegas now. Yeah, Star I've been really happy with two Starfish, but maybe maybe that's just the cut. Or maybe Curator. Maybe I cut the Curator. Curator's a good card, but it like very rarely makes the cut in my decks. Just because there's so much fucking competition. Maybe I cut the Abundant Harvest. Like, everything else in the deck, like, cares about board presence and, and value and stuff. The Abundant Harvest is just a filtering card. Like, the Starfish might be a better filter than the Abundant Harvest here, because it also sacks the Ravenous Squirrel if I needed to. We got this like lazy playable cantrip, like nope. <laughs> Doesn't sack to my squirrel. So I probably don't need ten black sources. Maybe I do, maybe ten's good. I think the five white is perfect. It's whether or not we want 7 green or 8 green, really. Because we could go minus 1 swamp, plus 1 forest. I think the Rift Sower and the Yava My Elder are the main reasons to play 8 green sources instead of 7. And then we go down to 9 black. A lot of our single black cards help us get, a, get to double black, though. Auger cantrips, starfish does starfish things. Knight's probably okay. I have no idea Fox Trot. It might just be the expense of the format. The fact that it like costs a lot to enter this one. I love the album art for this uh for this album. It's got this sick ass owl. So fucking cool. Oh shit, what up? Hey, solid gold dog, these the forty five months. 
Yeah, it's probably tied to the prize structure. Like, we got six boosters for trophying. Updating Stream Decker here. Good search bar right there. Oh, uh, the Green Lung Black Harvest. Yeah, that's what we were listening to at the start of the stream, was that album. One of my, one of my favorite albums of the year. If you know my musical tastes, like, my favorite albums of the year are pretty predictable. <laughs> Between the Buried and Me, Mastodon, Gojira, like, all those albums are great. And then, yeah, I like the, the new Green Lung album. And then uh, Dr. Smoke's new album, uh, I've been listening to a lot. Their, uh, their vocals have really grown on me. Just, like, extremely catchy. On the, the catchier side of, uh, of Stoner Rock. I also got to see Gojira live recently. I was uh, struck by how different their live show is. Like, how much production value is in there. Uh, than the last couple of times I saw them. I was really impressed. And they played all my favorite songs. I was so happy. <laughs> the deck looks consistent. It does look consistent. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. I don't know if it's good, but it, it does look consistent, I agree. Hopefully we're fast enough, right? I think we keep this on the drum. We got the turn one suspend, and then like any second land. Let's just land cycle. Yeah, Grifter, if you were a fan of colors... Uh, Colors 2 is a really, really good follow-up. A lot of happy between the Buried and Me fans. Oh no! <laughs> well, this was technically something that could happen. But the uh, Mana Dork is going to come into play and like catch us up next turn. Oh, you saw AJJ recently too, Cammy? I, uh, I got extremely messed up when I saw AJJ. Um, and I remember crying at a couple points. <laughs> it was a very rewarding show for me. So we could grab a planes and play the soul snare, and then like try and play Yava my elder next turn. We could also grab a forest just in case I answer my one three. And then any land lets me play the Yabba Maya. Let's grab a planes. What was I talking about, AJJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got so messed up, and then um, we crashed that night. I was so inebriated that I ended up like destroying my phone <laughs> in the bathtub somehow. <laughs> uh, and the next day... I realized that I'd left my card at the venue, my credit card. So we go back there, and uh, <laughs> and the 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 person who gets me my card explains to me that there were over four hundred people watching the show, and only one of them <laughs> forgot their credit card. So he put it exact. He put it into specifics. I knew exactly what percentile dumbass I was. <sighs> I 
I don't think I want to Soul Snare that Breathless Knight. I think I want to, like, Dam. And then, like, save it for post. I guess we can Disciple it back. We can also Disciple back the... I have my Elder, though. They've been doing a Knife Man tour? That is sick. Tired Mabody. I don't know what you're talking about. Why didn't I Soul Snare in? The Breathless Knight? Because I'm probably going to be playing Dam soon. Oh, yeah! Someone donated to change my avatar. What did you want, AJWR? Do you know off the top of your head? I should have swapped it before I got into the game. Is AJWR here? You want a Loxodon? Any Loxodon? The first one I see? An elephant! An excellent choice. That's a rhino? Fuck. <laughs> we'll get there. Tragic fall. My squirrel had an oopsie daisy. These things have indestructible. And Bone Shredder doesn't hit them. Land here would have been awesome. Maybe play another Disciple out. Oh no, I need the Disciple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, they are still indestructible. God, that was such an obnoxious last card for them. I think we could have beaten this if we had like a few more turns to generate value and stuff too. I literally can't play this without killing my disciple. Or like if they had three of the indestructible ones, three would be a lot more beatable than four here. We do have one of the discard spell, yeah. I can exile one and then I can disciple back the soul snare to exile another. The trick is like not dying in the meanwhile and then still having two four four indestructibles. <laughs> the disciple is lifelink. I think I can even afford a double block. Alright, that kills me. I'm gonna exile one of these. Make myself feel better. I guess activating this does gain me a life. <laughs> ah, yes, the perfect position. You don't kill me, I kill me. Yeah, the idea was like. We exile their thing, gain three from the Disciple dying, and then play the Disciple out, rebuy the Soul Snare. Maybe get something working. I guess I'm bored in the Canticle. Oh, we want to get these Bone Shredders. <laughs> I don't think we literally, I think we literally saw zero targets for them. You feel terrible for people born in 1988? I was born in 1988. How dare you? The period deck did end up trophying, yeah. It was, a, it was a gorgeous trophy, a lot of sweet games. We actually have a decent amount of exile effects for a... Um, for a draft deck. Sure. The phase out card would be pretty good, yeah. I wonder if I should just be land cycling for a forest here to make sure I can play Elder next turn. And then I can go like Squirrel, Sack Elder. Hey, Ollie Smells Drazi, thanks for the seven months. You did indeed sub. Appreciate you. Or I can just hit. Absolutely, Super Beeves. For one, KOTOR is actually getting reworked for modern computers. So when that happens, I'm 100% going to do an actual playthrough 
where my computer gets to work and function and actually stream KOTOR. That's still on the agenda, it's just, it just got set aside after all the crashes. For two, uh, I did a stream of the Baldur's Gate Early Access, and I've been waiting for the full game to release, which uh, should happen late next year. It got severely delayed due to the um, pandemic. So a few different uh, bits of non-magic. Caleb streaming to look forward to. Pathfinder. I haven't played much. I haven't played like any Pathfinder. Baldur's Gate Two is your favorite old school RPG. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I replayed Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 pretty recently. I don't think I streamed any of them at all. It was just like a for funsy thing that I did like while I was uploading YouTube videos. I like to have like a game that's like not very taxing while I uh, while I upload videos. So sometimes I'll just like jam a rams on League or or play some like Hearthstone clone or or play an RPG and just like enjoy the story. Icewind Dale was sick. Also played that one pretty recently, and now I'm in a uh, the the paper, the pen and paper uh, Icewind Dale D and D campaign. That's been pretty fun. So playing the old uh, computer RPG and like put me in the mood for like the in person role playing. I only played a little bit of Pillars of Eternity. I downloaded it. I downloaded Pillars and Pillars 2. And I played like <laughs> half the tutorial or something. <laughs> like an hour or something. And I didn't go back to it. I might someday. I hear really good things. My friends love those games. We have so much value, and it so doesn't matter in this matchup. <laughs> I've not played Outer Wilds. that just so we can get in, like just damn it. The reanimated deck trophy. Sweet, to game three we go. Shitter squirrel beats, getting it done. Bit more of an aggressive curve in the previous game. I kinda wonder if I want this scour. Even if we're not making that many flyers. Black mana, unfortunate. It's pretty good otherwise. Wow, fuck this hand, huh? There's just no pressure here. Most of the decks like one and two drops though. 
This might just work out if we just, like, draw anything. I kind of hate the idea of going to five, even with all the value in the deck. Much better. Already just infinitely better. Not sure if I'm gonna bin this Strider or not. That 4 mana 2 2 would be hot here. Get to pop the Brainstone. Oh, the stacks of CDs from those old games. Yeah, I remember that shit. There were a few that I had like six or eight CDs for. I think Final Fantasy VII had like a like a cardboard book that you opened and there's like fucking eight CDs. In the ruins of gold by the eastern sea shines a glow and sparkle of light. Beneath the remains from the one's great ancient face. He was lost, now needs to be found. Not looking great. Not looking great. In the world wind escape, choice of life or death slipped away from the hands of its god. The most powerful relic of cosmic sphere in oblivion it and alive. Yeah, I'm only talking about PC releases. I, didn't, I never had a PlayStation. Correct, Lava Fist. I do remember floppy disks. I remember playing, like... I think all of Privateer... I think... I mean... <laughs> I haven't played Privateer since I was, like, six or seven, but I remember the expansiveness of that universe, like, blowing my little... My little kid mind.
Do I want to disciple back Yabamai Elder or Soul Snaring? It matters because if I want to get back the Soul Snare, I can disciple it and then also play Vermin Gorger. Oh yeah, big difference between uh <laughs> between like actual floppies and um and then the the, the more firmer DOS discs. I think you still call them floppies, even though they were like smaller or whatever. Just inside the cover. Well, I just remember the, like the old. I thought it was, they were called floppies because the older ones were actually like bendy. They used to be like larger and thinner, and then they made smaller and thicker ones that were they were they were more rigid rigid later. But I could certainly be wrong. We get this fucking squirrel rolling. I was gonna play the disciple, but I feel like this is just better now. All the conversations today have been nostalgia based. Deciding between the, the Yabba My Elder and the Squirrel. I guess I read by the Squirrel, hum. But maybe I'd like, don't play it here. Just hold it. You remember Elf? He's back! In Pog form! Yeah. Can sack itself? It didn't sack itself. Oh, but it can. It can indeed sack itself. Interesting. I didn't know that it could do that. Disciples not to feel it's to hand, as you will soon see. There's only like four lands left in the deck, is why the Yav Mail is like kind of tempting. Just like pull all the dead draws. Still probably shouldn't play the starfish. Artifact land cycle on the companion is so worrying now that we know more about their deck.
flight Harmonic wings reflect the stars They guide me towards salvation And I stopped an old man along the way Hoping to find some more forgotten words Or ancient melodies He turns me as if to say Hurry boy, it's waiting there for you I don't think it can activate the starfish on upkeep. I think it's got a draw. I can tap their thing down. I think I have enough mana for that. Will the disciple get in? That's very helpful. One of the issues here is like, even if I can like stabilize and make some giant squirrels or whatever, <laughs> I think we deck before we can win through 3 4 4 indestructible blockers. <laughs> frets instead of 21 <clears throat> play your lick smooth and look even smoother with a comfortable destroy hum and a do you like the menace neck. This do you like the menace aspect of this card maybe i'm supposed to bin it anyway grooviest tunes check it out now at ernieball.com
yeah, the issue here is they can just kind of chill while we deck eventually. Because one of the reasons I was considering bringing in the Scour of the Desert, like, even if it's only making, like, four 1-1 one -one flyers, it would still be huge here, right? Give me a way to, like, actually win. But I didn't bring it in, so <laughs> I think I lose. <laughs> Fucking oh well. There's an issue of drawing like all of our top end, like both Orchard Striders early on, right? Instead of uh, early game beats. The game that we won, we got to like curve out and apply some nice pressure. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Fornia, thanks for the 18 months. I was considering cutting the Curator, too. Do you like the Menace on the Curator? Bummer. Doesn't answer that one. Cards 1212, thanks for the 20 bucks. Card says, thanks for another great round of vintage cube VODs. Always looking forward to them. Keep up the great work. Absolutely, cards. Absolutely. More uh, more vintage cube coming up next month around the holiday season. I think they start around December 20th. Should be a good time. Should I just move on to the next one? I don't think I can actually win from here. They're playing carefully. There's like not really a way for a way for us to get an opening. You had to play some paper vintage. Nice. I've only played paper vintage once in my life. Thanks to the generosity of some friends lending me some power. I played uh, repeal tendrils with uh, Dark Confident. It was also <laughs> the event where I witnessed like one of the worst judge calls I've seen. I was breeding a, I was breeding a match where one player had lethal in play. Like all he had to do was like uh, tap his creatures and attack. And he had some shuffle effect, it was like a fetch or something like that. And his library, this end of this like super epic match, they're in game three, and his library only has like two cards. It's like two or three cards. And he does like this, and or maybe it's just once, I don't know. But he just like fucking does this and like offers the two or three cards to his opponent. His opponent like no serves the cut, and he goes to attack for lethal. His opponent's reaching forward with his hand, and a judge is like, stop! Insufficient randomization! Game loss, you're out! <laughs> And the entire crowd is like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what, what is this? <laughs> why, are, why are you putting why are you putting this on the end of this match? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Seems like a spot where a moment's discretion as opposed to the letter of the law, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that guy was so defeated. And his opponent didn't want to win that way. <laughs> like, if his opponent like like had the option to concede or whatever. Mm. 
I think it's got, seems kind of sweet. A lot of nice value. Bone Shredder Foundation Breaker. Ooh, we can actually kill things with Bone Shredder. That's fun. Was the game loss upheld on appeal? I don't think it got appealed. I don't know why. Maybe because it was like a side event. And the head judge was like too busy with the, the, the main GP or whatever. But it didn't get appealed. <laughs> we can sack this Bone Shredder with a trigger on the stack. You'd flip some shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Fist of Thor. Clarifying that the side events aren't head judged by the GP head judge. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't think an appeal was an option. <laughs> You'd fight the judge? Don't fight people. That's not an appropriate response to a bad ruling. Judges are human, you know. Humans make errors on occasion. Not me, of course, but you know, other people. Should we evoke the Foundation Breaker and then sack it to the squirrel with the evoke on the stack? It's not necessarily good, but it's cute, and I like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah, no, you can obviously, like, report a judge, uh, whether that's to the TO or, like, I think you can actually, like, directly talk to wizards if you, like, really want to. I guess I've been this. That doesn't help you, uh, in the match, of course. Ravenous Squirrel showing up for one more pip of devotion here. A lot of, uh, it's a lot of squirrel action. I'm into that. <laughs> Why'd I tell that story? Now you're mad. <laughs> I mean, I still remember the story for some reason, right? <laughs> it obviously, um, stayed with me for a reason. We've got like <laughs> we've got like five artifact lands in the deck, and we just like don't have any in play right now for the Vectus gloves. Kind of amazing. These squirrels are gonna pop the fuck off. I forgot to activate my starfish. That's all right.
Ooh, so sagging into one squirrel is gonna pump the other squirrel. That's fucking awesome. This might be the first time I've gotten two squirrels down at once. Artifact Landwalk. Artifact Landwalk. Oh, really, Frank? That makes sense to me. You're saying squirrel is the hardest English word to pronounce for most non-native speakers? It is an interesting word, huh? Squirrel. And then we can even, like, <laughs> shorten it down to one syllable. Squirrel! Starfish, right? Is it time to start attacking? I don't think quite yet. Maybe the 5-4. Yeah, no. Let's just keep chilling. Purple. Yeah, purple purple also makes sense. Ketchup. Those all do seem like difficult words. Soldier and shoulder. Yeah. Oh, I didn't cast a starfish because I'm going to sack a token to a squirrel here. Well, oh, they've got flying squirrels? Oh no. Oh no. I've only got the regular variety. That was super wrong, huh? <laughs> Killing the random flyer instead of like the disciple or the 4 4. Yeah, I think that was super wrong. Oh well. I think I'm just gonna not pay the echo on the bone shredder. Flying crab. I mean, they're gonna turn the, the crab into a four-four here. I think. Still around, jip 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 jip. Still a format you can play.
shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? We're pretty close to wanting to being able to attack to being able to attack. Maybe I'll wait like one or one or two more turns here. Yeah, thanks for the 48 months, Retinal Blast. Thanks for sharing the Prime. Yeah, Windows bleeped at me. Sorry if that noise confused anyone. I hope waiting another turn doesn't punish me here. We could draw into our other Disciple. Which could then revive Bone Treader and give me like an even better attack. We're also growing a third squirrel by waiting. And then attacking is good for me. Fuck. Shit. Ass. Oh. Probably just gonna be a point and click removal spell here. Small Squirrel and Disciple still stay back. Maybe Disciple serves. It does get eaten by the Jade, but they got... It's about to be the large squirrel because they do have that seal of removal, right? in the driver's seat like the whole time it's just been a matter of like how do I not fuck this up right well this deck is certainly doing this llama fist Format also can like lend itself to this style of deck. Should I sack my starfish? Did 
do want to activate Starfish because I don't think I'm uh, milling anything at this point. Not enough cards left in the graveyard. Squirrel's back, and now it's hungry. I like how, like, <laughs> four of my five artifact lands are in the bottom eight cards of my library. <laughs> Just the Spectus Gloves. It was very fortunate. I wonder if they board the gloves out. Just assume I don't have any <laughs> don't have any duels. They seem like the whole deck. I was planning on jumping here, but I guess we could take six. supposed to take a turn to play the Orchard Strider. Are they dead still? The Lodestone takes two blockers. So if they have three creatures, block three, the three pump squirrels. And then put a creature on the underworld. Yeah, they're certainly not dead this turn. Yeah, I think you spent this turn just playing like the Orchard Strider and like sacking food and sacking to the Gorger. I don't think we quite have a win here. Next turn, I think we have it locked up. The 11-11 Ravenous Squirrel probably still, still, still should have served. Not Loathsome by itself, though. We don't want that one to march into two 4-4s. Four the Jade Avenger and the Beast Token. I'm not going to sack to the Squirrel this turn. I'm just going to sack these food tokens. I'm going to sack both these food tokens, those are going to pump my squirrels, gain me 6 life, and then I'm going to sack uh, to the Vermin Gorger. And that's going to drain the opponent down to 6. So my squirrels are going to get plus 3 plus 3 here, and then on my next turn, I'll have a nice meaty attack. Right, I was kind of wondering that too, Spectatron. Maybe not, they might assume that my hand's like all artifact lands. There's a couple here.
That's the other thing, is like maybe I don't even want to show him an artifact land for the Vectus Gloves. I did Tybalt. I haven't won a match with them yet, but I do have three squirrels. I don't even know what game this is. This is probably game one. <laughs> Fuck. Clock a little bit of an issue. using some time here. Initials in, next to the 20 months. Don't you dare fog me. Doesn't the fog cost three? I think the fog costs three. I've been blown up by this card when I was drafting Reanimator before. At least they don't get two blockers this turn. That's helpful. Mortician Beetle was pretty bad for a rare, yeah. Are getting a much clearer board, yeah. Yeah, Jade Avenger is always great. You two draw the trades with the opponent's six drop. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you can like just have like four or five in a deck. That's totally good. Really nice curve filler for clunky decks too, because it's hard to attack into. I like this deck better for them. Not losing another four form. I get to keep my five four exploit, but. I'm just gonna do this shit so I can have six. Small squirrels of seven seven. I got a seventeen seventeen here. So ravenous.
So if you look at my library, you can see why I stopped sacrificing to the ravenous squirrel and started like finding other ways to pump them. Thinking 20 mean? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason that I blocked with the Ornithopter last turn, right? Is this 20? This, is, this doesn't look like 20 to me. 16, right? It's really hard to answer Avenger, yeah. At least efficiently. I don't think we change anything. I don't think we change shit. Maybe we save the Foundation Breaker for the, um... The Crypt thing. I was, like, really excited to get, like, early value and be, like, cute evoking it for the Ravenous Squirrel. But if I just hold it for their, um... Thing that makes 4-4s, four I think we'll have an easy time this matchup. Or an easier time, anyway. Oh, the Crush Shock in the Graveyard. Yeah, you right, you right. I forgot about that. I was aware of it, like, being able to come back when I killed it, but then, like, the next couple of turns were so complicated, I forgot about it again. Hagenite Tackler. Get some rest. My sleep has not been great the last few days, but I've gotten enough. Last night, uh, I got woken up by the garbage folks. Which usually doesn't bother me that much. Usually I wake up and then I go back right right back to sleep. But for some reason it was like hard for me to fall asleep again. And then I got woken up again by a delivery. It was a delivery that I was like very excited about, very much looking forward to. So I'm not like mad about it or anything, but <laughs> it did mean that when I finally like woke up, I was all like bleary eyed and shitty. Those are the worst, because you know, you spend an hour like not actually getting anything done. Or like doing everything wrong. Like putting the milk in the cupboard instead of the fridge. That's sort of <laughs> that's sort of space cadet nonsense. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this and the starfish is gonna fix everything and we'll be just fine and dandy. Look at this. One drop, two drop. How do you lose? New vinyl? No, it's not new vinyl. It is a uh, Hero Quest. <laughs> They read it. They read it here. Quest gave it a bit of a bit of polish. And some new, uh, some new stuff. That game was awesome. Hadn't been the strider here. Your first quote, DD. Yeah, the, the quotes are pretty appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I played that in high school with friends at the shop, and that was like one of my first experiences with with tabletop role playing. And then um And then when I was in college, uh, we always played pool in one of like one of the specific college dorms, one of their lounges, and one of the days we discovered their, like, boxes of games and stuff, and it was mostly, like, shit like Monopoly and whatever, but there's an old beat-to-shit uh, copy of Hero Quest, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> and so I made all my pool friends um, run a few dungeons with me. Ooh, Wave Sifter, love that. Anyway, I found out I found out about the um, the remake from the Bard's YouTube. Is a YouTuber who does like miniature reviews and uh, and art reviews and stuff. 
And his review of the original Hero Quest is amazing. He's just like a very over the top personality. Has a lot of uh, Gimli energy. Has a lot of Gimli energy about him. Anyway, pretty easy to find his YouTube with the information that I've given you. <laughs> Okay, I'll keep Scry here too. We could hit something to get back with the Disciple, right? Yeah, that's fine. Just like anything at all. <laughs> Chat popping off <laughs> with with bard bard quotes. I did get it through Hasbro Pulse, yeah. And then Hasbro Pulse sent me emails for like all this other shit I didn't care about. So I'm probably gonna block them now. <laughs> Purchase the one thing that I wanted. Hmm. Little squirrel maker. You don't think you can buy it now? Yeah, I think it, I think the thing was over. I talked about it a couple times over the past year. But sorry to get you all hyped up. Got your mouth all watering and then didn't even have any biscuits. Why didn't they trade with a disciple? It seems like that would be something they'd want to trade with. At least they only have two card types. Still, we are uh, in some trouble here. Quite attack here. If it was just the prophetic titan, then I would serve in with the team, or at least most of the team, and then like sack whatever the titan blocked. Well, the titan and the rift sower that becomes a lot worse, I think. So we'll just sack the nested chambler at the end of turn. Stop playing. Awesome shit. That'd be great. I think I might be fucked here, folks.
No reach. We have a little bit of reach. Not a lot, you know, but... Got me. Game 3 will be on the play. We will have like a nice aggressive curve out. I guess I bring in Scar. The issue with Scar is... Is that it's only making 4 one ones, but 4 one ones would have been pretty good that game. Yeah, I guess we have like bone treaders for those flyers and stuff and dam and stuff. Yeah, fuck this scar. I'm gonna bring in the canticle again though. Actually, let's do this. Really on the green star, so we can suspend Rift Sower on Tomb. And then I'm not sure if we play the squirrel or play the second or play the bridge next turn. And we'll play the squirrel. Squirrel opener. Maybe that'll be good. Am I drafting Crimson Bow tomorrow? That's the plan. Call me Legend. That's the plan. I usually like draft the first day or two, and then um, and then move on to doing like Historic and Standard after I have the cards. This is gonna be a really awkward new set time period. Because I've got I've got uh, commitments Friday and Saturday night, so I'm gonna try and get an early stream in on Friday. But I'm just not gonna be able to stream Saturday at all, and then hopefully I'll be able to um, do a longer stream on Sunday. Play catch up a little bit. Sweep the skies and leave the Titan and the Aramiba. These are both really good cards, though. I mean, the Amoeba is like their play next turn. Oh, but it's a little weak to the Soul Snare. Yeah, let's take this with the skies. No more cube. No more cube for a little bit. In December, Vintage Cube comes back, so. Chat's gonna fire me if I don't come in, come in on Saturday. Yeah, my Friday night, I'd completely forgotten about this, but I had ordered Bill Burr tickets like before the pandemic even happened. That's why I had mixed feelings. Like I got the, the email notice like literally today, <laughs> that I've built Bill Burr tickets for Friday for Friday evening, um, and I was like, uh, <laughs> this is very last minute, but also that does sound sweet. Oh, they discarded the RB, but to the the Canticle, nice.
I will not be streaming Bill Burr. <laughs> I will not be doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I feel lucky to have gotten to see like a lot of my favorite stand-up comics live. David Cross, Patton Oswalt. I did miss the boat on Norm Macdonald, unfortunately. Try not to forget my credit card. Good note, good note. <sighs> nice loss, man. And also nice at cabs. Yeah, Mitch Hedberg would have been a fantastic one to see live. You met Zach Galifianakis at a frat party in 2001? Amazing. Oh, I only have five minutes, so I should probably... <laughs> I should probably focus on this game, huh? So I don't yield some fucking squirrels. trading no they got there in time I did not know that today is the anniversary of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, no. Maybe could have come out. You think I pay the upkeep? I might sack it just because if I get it comes into play on tap lane, I can play Strider. But having a flyer here is actually kind of good, right? With them at nine. This is Chambler. Chambler is actually a fierce draw with this vermin. It's gonna drain for four all by its lonesome. Oh, 
banner hide crush shark. I feel like this game is now like, can they answer my vermin gorge aim? Yeah, clock's very similar here, huh? Hold it like three and a half minutes. Saving the Disciple here in case they answer my Vermin Gorger, right? Because they need to answer the Vermin Gorger, or I just get to drain them out. Vrin Command for the life gain. God damn it. God damn that. Ah, oh, fuck. They just rebuy bone shredding. I feel like the Avenger would let me attack with the Orchard. It's actually like way better time-wise than killing the Flyer. Still attack. Just accept the trade. my vermin gorge aim. that is the question this is indeed game two <laughs> I'm playing to win though
Yay. Plenty of time. Plenty of time, folks. You thought this was three? Maybe this was three. Oh, yeah, 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 because I got bodied by flyers in game two. You right, you right. Silly meme. Didn't mean to, um... Forget my opponent's W in there. Good shit. Vermin Gorger coming through. Coming through clutch. <laughs> GG's, Agent Scone. GG's. It was intense. You're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. Down to the wire, hum. I got lost in a conversation with Chad at some moment, and then I was like, hold on. <laughs> I should I should probably focus. I have less than five minutes. I should I'm probably focus on this one. I feel like the Canticle should actually be in the main deck of this deck. Because all of our games are going to go super late. Maybe it's better than the Soul Snare or something. I just really like the idea of rebuying Soul Snare with Disciple of the Sun. But maybe Canticle is better than like the Loathsome Curator in this deck. I don't know. Yeah, Vermin Gorger has impressed me in this format as well. For sure, for sure. God, there's so much fucking removal here. We had our second land. Like, Strider kind of just gets us there. The last one lander I kept had uh, that Rift card. I'm going to keep this anyway. We're on the draw. Hey, Miko Blue, thanks for gifting us up to Agent Scone. Appreciate you. Land. Fuck. <laughs> Land! Oh, I said it with such emphasis. I thought it was for sure. It is close to a landed land cycles! And then I think we just play the Yabba My Elder next turn. We were just misreading the the thing to Jake. It said like one day, 16 hours or whatever, but what I actually meant was 16 hours. Once it moved into the, the next day, like once we went past midnight or whatever, it stopped saying the one day part and it just went into like 10 hours. So that was my, my bad for not being, for not knowing how, uh, <laughs> how Moto works, I guess. It's like two listings. It's not additive. If it says one day 16 hours, it just means 16 hours. It doesn't mean, uh, <laughs> it doesn't mean 30 hours or whatever the fuck. Maybe I'm not jamming damn. Maybe I should just be bone shredding that rift sower. Give me that blow. It's probably a better line. They're stuck on two lands. Hell yeah, Sky Fiend. Looking good. You've been working out? Yeah, I can tell. I like our spot. I like our position. I like that Bone Shredder actually like kills creatures in their deck. That's nice. Sometimes I just stick my thumb in a peach and leave it there. I love to work, I love to run, I love to water ski snow. Pretty nice with having us having two of them. They are playing black though. Well, I mean I'd love to do these things. If I ever had the time, I love to work, I love to work, I love to work out after work. No need to chump, the, chump this rip sore. We can just like untap and sack the Yabamaya. Get a whole nother card. 
cellular phone and a personal computer in case something came up. And I'd eat and I'd drink and I'd run and I'd sleep and I wouldn't do nothing except swim all day. So if you know my paper doesn't work underwater, where were the sharks? Where were the sharks? Where were the sharks? And there's oh, this shit, kind of Hold on, get another Quarian Ranger twiddle value in. Hey, Shadow Kid, thanks for 14 months. Saw indeed. Saw indeed. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do here is just like sack the Yava my elder, untap, disciple it back. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Sky Phoenix, the sub, thanks for sharing the prime, the 24 months, the two years! I like how I've, I've, I've got this, uh, this catchy, like, kind of like poppy song, <laughs> and then we're going from this straight into Green Lung. This fucking playlist, man. Play Disciple. Maybe that's too many cards. Yeah, maybe I have to go like Starfish Gorger just to prevent discarding. You never got your Kalo D bathwater? Oh, you had to collect it yourself. Maybe you should have played the Gorger last turn. Yeah, there's infinite bathwater. Infinite Gamer Dude bathwater for anyone who wants it, but I don't ship it to you or anything. actually just fine. I don't know if I would jam this if I hadn't drawn a one drop to also run out this turn, prevent discarding. Hi, I'm Mio. I have no information as to Bizarre's production. So many cards. I cracked a Yava My Elder. Time to shred that bone. And the Gorger's gonna sack the Bone Shredder on the upkeep. So I don't have to pay the Echo. Then we can, like, Disciple that back or bring back Elder, whatever we wanna do. Maybe just play Strider. I kinda like just playing the Strider. Having a beater going.
Disciple is your favorite common. It's a pretty good common. My concern this game is losing to the Ravenous Squirrel before I find any mine, get mine rolling. If only it worked that way, Elmachius. If only it worked that way. Remind me to get some water after this round. Maybe even between between games. Hey, there we go. Starfish here over Disciple. <laughs> I mean, Llama Fist. That's what people do, so. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've built up a resistance. Built up a resistance to chat sass. Hey, Zach AS, thanks for the 29 months. Appreciate you. Keep stop just in case I want to starfish it up. Even if they didn't attack, I was gonna make this sacrifice this turn, so pretty uh, pretty keen on it. Because the squirrel has these food tokens to eat. So I might as well keep draining with the gorge arm. Yeah, it's not intentional bubbles, probably just a bug. The last time that happened, I messaged the, um, the person who manages the, the bot, the MTG bot, and he fixed it for me.
Let the squirrel die and just disciple it back. Or do I sack enough stuff to have it live through the minus four, minus four? I think it lines better. I didn't think this attack with the squirrel was quite worth it, no. Because if they double block the squirrel, I can sack enough stuff to make it like a trade, like a one for one trade or whatever, but then they use the minus four, minus four on my my six four and uh Interesting That's hot. Really glad I saved it now. I almost activated the starfish first there. To like try and bin a land, try and grow the vanguard. You trying to remember how to Ixalan draft? Ixalan draft was the format where you just like couldn't block it all, right? 
tried to play really efficient curve, kind of like it was Zendikar, and then like some super cheap like pump spells, and just like curve out and win. And if you tried to block first, then your opponent would play their like super cheap pump spell and murder you. Doesn't this actually grow my shit? Got me. Oh yeah, Hammer Skull. That card was fucked up. That card was fucked up. Yeah, that definitely that thing definitely should have cost like four, right? get another threat here, can it? Oh, I didn't want to sack that Bone Shredder immediately. What was I thinking? Might have been necessary to, like, block this thing. Did block sack. Cube is indeed done. There's a the single limb is still open, but the league's done. Vintage Cube is coming back next month for a holiday season like it normally does. Yeah, I think that Shambler is probably wrong. I probably should grab that Fane Garden. Just like the really efficient pump is really nice. Oh my fucking god. I only have 10 cards left in my library. Nine cards. <laughs> Should definitely not be activating the starfish anymore. This one's awesome. I think both squirrels in the 3 3 serve here. 
and start activating Gorger. Hydrate myself? Yeah, I should do that. I should figure out if I want to do any sideboarding first. I don't think so. If they're trying to play around Dam though, the Canticle could be really good. But I want to cut Curator. I think Curator's boss here. I think we're actually gonna cut the Foundation Breaker. It was good that game because we hit their minus four minus four enchantment, but a lot of time that, that enchantment's just gonna like kill an Orchid Strider or whatever. Yeah, this looks good to me. I'm gonna take a quick break while I run and grab some water now. I'll be back in, you know. <laughs> you know, you see the timer. <laughs> so I didn't make the buzzer, but I had to empty my bladder, and that was pretty nice. Pretty fucking great. Oh, Trivium! I've not clamor. Chump here. It's not like great, but we're not losing a whole creature, just like half of one. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Spider Solomon, thanks for 46 months. Appreciate you. In the tunes, hell yeah, hell to the yeah. So hopefully our starfish can find us another um, another land here, huh? Because either disciple or loathsome would be great next turn. Loathsome's probably a little better. And then if, even if we whiff, we can just hold up soul snare and <clears throat> relieve a lot of pressure that way. I mean, Scryfish is a great lit, great card. I'm surprised the the Ravenous Scroll didn't serve last turn. Maybe they're playing around the Soul Snare. I didn't realize I couldn't activate it.
really nice that I can play this with a uh, with black or green mana hum. I want one more land before I play this Losing Curator. I definitely want to kill their squirrel with the Curator, but I also want to hold it the Soul Snare. Don't let them get in free hits and shit. They're good. Not really in the mood for that specific genre. What am I in the mood for? I've got some Elder here. Might just be in the mood for Elder. One of their heavier songs, sure. The vocals are also like clearly good, but not my preferred. The Chatterstorm coming in. Shredder Mill. Kind of need Lance here, though. This deck is exactly as grindy as I thought it would be, Alhambra Taco kind of what I signed up for with the triple ravenous squirrel <laughs> multiple pieces of recursion type deal that's why I was looking at like ways to like actually win a game <laughs> I was looking at like, that that goif maker and things of that that ilk Yeah, they have some large creatures, but they just have no good attacks, thanks to the Soul Snare. Kinda looks like they have some kind of pump spell. Hopefully it's not too debilitating. I guess we still have the Snare. Here to establish squirrel dominance. All these fucking triggers. So that attack, they snuck in negative one damage. Good, good. Oh, they're just trying to make plays because they're, they're low on time, I seem.
don't quite have an attack here because they can attack the the bridge for the Zernorm to like surprise give the squirrel plus one plus one. This is only game two, right? Attack the starfish to the ravenous squirrel. Would they just recur? I didn't see him. Oh, the bone thing, shame. It's no trophy, it's no trophy, but it was good stuff. Some good grindy nonsense. The round we lost, they, uh, the opponent made like, what, four, four, four indestructibles in both the games they won? Hard to beat, hard to beat that. 